ladies and gentlemen, the first rule to jerk chicken is you want to do it up with these leg quarters. As you see here, I got this beautiful leg quarter. Uh, normally, I guess you wouldn't trim much, but there's a little bit of hard fat here, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim all that off. Shouldn't take much. And you do want the skin. The skin is a vital part of the cooking process. I'm happy with that. As you can see, beautiful looking leg quarter there. Uh, because this is the barbecue channel, gotta go ahead and throw in some barbecue spices. I got the voodoo, the meat church holy voodoo. I'm gonna rub that in. I think it'll do really well with this jerk seasoning. You kinda wanna work, work it in there. And for the jerk seasoning, I would love to make it myself. I've tried a million times and I've never gotten it right, but I have nailed down a pretty good store-bought option. It's the Grace Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. It has all the peppers, the onion, the garlic, the sugars, everything you want in a, Jam a Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. It's got it all right here for us. Um, the consistency is pretty awesome as well. I'm going to pop this open, one hand. Eh, I'm not using this jar again. <laughs> I'm to be able to do this. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is I always buy two and you'll see why I actually make a sauce with this that I based on during the cook and you'll see that um, I go mild, I'm a wimp, but they do have other versions as well. And you can see consistency is like almost like mud. It'll, it'll show up better on the, the chicken there. Almost like mud and you just want to cake that on. And if you've never had this before, be careful. It can get very hot. And that's essentially what I'm going for. Looks beautiful, smells good already. I'm flinging this stuff everywhere. But yeah, I'm gonna get this in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna let it sit about 24 hours and then we'll get to cooking. Stay tuned. All right, as you can see, all the chicken is seasoned. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge, let it marinate overnight. And then we are gonna fire up the grill, and get to cooking. See you then. All right, ladies and gents, uh, here's my take on a jerk glaze. Uh, it's pretty simple. You should have a lot of this stuff in the house. The only thing I would think you may be missing is the coconut rum and uh, the, the jerk seasoning that we used earlier. Like I said, I always buy two bottles of it. It goes a long way and you can also use it for the jerk glaze. So here's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with one cup of orange juice, one fourth cup of the jerk seasoning, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of ketchup, doesn't want to come out, sure, and one shot of coconut rum. From here, and we might be able to get a little bit of this ketchup. Let's see. There we go. This isn't how I'd normally measure anything when I'm at home. I just do it, eyeball it, but for visualization. Um, anyway, so you got all that all mixed together. Should turn a dark brown. Now, a really important step is you want to simmer this for about 20 minutes stirring occasionally. I'm doing this well in advance. This isn't right before I'm about to put it on the chicken. I'm doing this about eight hours before the chicken goes on the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and simmer this, like I said, for 20 minutes, really important. Go ahead and mix that up. It'll give everything time to dissolve and pretty much combine and become one delicious flavor. Sorry, I'm having trouble looking at you guys and then the viewfinder. You guys and then the viewfinder, oh, whatever. But um, yeah, go ahead and make this up in advance. Like I said, as far as you can in advance and let it sit. The longer you let it sit, the better it'll come out. Um, but yeah, that's the glaze. Pretty soon we're going to fire up this chicken, depending on where I'm throwing this part in at. I may have already fired up the chicken, but either way, um, I haven't actually in real life. I'm talking too much. All right, done here. Going to simmer for 20 minutes. Stir occasionally. Get back to you guys. Peace.
All right, ladies and gents, you seen how I set the charcoal up there? I did it indirect, so I got all the charcoal to here to the back. I'm gonna leave this, uh, it's not necessarily cool, but a cooler zone here at the front so it's not directly over the charcoal. I'm also gonna add a few chunks of this hickory. I'm gonna cook right over it. Should produce a pretty nice taste. All right, got the chicken. It's been marinating now for about 24 hours. Also on the Bronco, you wanna have all the vents open. Here's the chicken, looking beautiful. What I'm gonna to do to start is lay it skin side down right over the coals. Gonna have a little trouble fitting them. But let me go. All right, gonna get this closed up. Don't worry, it's gonna produce a white smoke, but that's perfectly fine. Yep, there's that white smoke we were talking about. It's been about five minutes, gonna get a look at this chicken. Oh, it smells delicious. Look at that. That's exactly what you want. I don't know if you can see anything. Let's see. Get a little better angle. So you smell all that jerk seasoning. You smell the hickory. This is gonna be incredible. All right, and I'm gonna continue to flip every five minutes just to give you guys a look, kind of what we're dealing with already. It's only been 10 minutes. It's got a while to go. But this first part is where you get all the, the color. Let's get some of these on here, flip them back over. There we go. Bad boys. Now we know this cooker isn't built for this, but it's incredible that I can do this. Now let her go. Still flipping. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Go with the natural curve there. Same with this one. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Put this back on. Just to see if we can get a temp reading. I also wanna try and show you guys this. I don't know if you can see it right now. I don't think you really, I don't think the camera picks it up, but there's a little white smoke kind of pouring out. That's actually not the hickory. The hickory is already burnt up. That's the fat from the chicken dripping down onto the coals, and then it's coming back up in the form of steam and smoke to smoke the chicken and give it just tons of flavor. You guys are gonna really love this one. I know you guys thought I forgot about this sauce, but I did not. Here's the sauce, looking delicious. It's kind of room temperature right now. I got it out of the fridge about eh, 30 minutes ago. And you just start basting. And that uh, oven thermometer, if you can't read it, I don't know if you can read it on the camera, it's reading about 450 right now. Now you want to be careful when you put the sauce on. It does have brown sugar and other sugars in it, so it can burn. You do not want to burn it. What you see right here on the, ch the chicken, that char and stuff from earlier, that's all flavor. We're okay with that. But once the sauce is on, we cannot burn it. Now you pretty much just repeat these steps until you reach the desired temperature. Uh, chicken is safe to eat at 165 internal. I go to about 185, it's just what I prefer, kind of like steaks, uh, you know, medium, rare, medium well, medium rare, things like that. 185 is where I like my chicken. Unless it's chicken wings, then it's 200. Look at the color on these things. It's just incredible. The aesthetics are throwing me off. I flipped this one and now that's just where I'm at with it, you know? On that hour mark is usually when it hits that 180 that I'm looking for, so we'll check it out. Oh, we're gone. Go right there in the thick of it. 
189. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. I'm going to let them rest for probably 20 minutes, and we're going to cut into them. Stay tuned. They've been sitting for about 10 minutes now, so I think it's time to cut into them. This is going to be a difficult one. I'm not really sure how to cut to show you guys. <laughs> so we're just going off the top. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's tons of juice still in there. Here's the piece we cut from it. Ugh. Focus. Ton of juice. And now we get to try it. I'm gonna try this piece actually. Set it right there. All right, ladies and gents, as you can see, that was the cook. Pretty easy. Now's my favorite time of the video. I get to taste test. So I'm gonna grab that piece that I cut off. It's so good. It is so freaking good. You have the Caribbean sauce, which was excellent on there. You have that seasoning that we put on. Everything shines through. This is definitely something you want to cook over charcoal. The wood, you can play with the wood and see what you like, but I love that hickory flavor that it gives. As you see, that was a really simple cook. We had that voodoo rub, rubbed it down with that, added the Grace Jamaican Jerk seasoning. Really excellent seasoning. You can get that store-bought. It's tough to make your own, but if you, if you have a good recipe on your own, by all means, go that route. Set it up, you need charcoal, so throw it on some charcoal. We use hickory, you can use any kind of wood you like with chicken. Get that going. As you've seen, the oven thermometer set about 400, so that's probably about accurate. 400 degrees, you just wanna sear each side, and then you wanna alternate the heat from there. Just keep the chicken from getting burnt. If you wanna make that sauce, go ahead and throw that together. Not gonna remember the ingredients to that off the top of my head, but just run, rewind back or check the description, I'll have it listed there. Pretty good sauce. A little spicy, like I said before, if you are afraid of that spice, you might want to stay clear, steer clear of the sauce. Um, but yeah, excellent cook. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.